a pleasure to be here. It's uh, the first time here on the island. And thank you, my friend uh, Giselle uh, van der Vleck, um, to the first experience that I have. Oh, I'm doing in English, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, to experience the island and to see the Curaçao through her eyes and it's it's a pleasure today I'm here tomorrow we're leaving for Holland it's raining cats and dogs so I don't want to complain about the heat outside but, uh, <laughs> but um, so we start uh, my name is Grace Rivellino, and uh, I'm the author of the book The Principles of the Diamond, oftewel the Diamant Principe. It's written in Dutch, and somebody told me, start to translate it in English because we need it. So, um, the Diamond Principles, why um, the, the book is about and maybe the things we don't want to like to talk about. The things we want to deny. The things we want to neglect and ignore. Because when we, we experience some kind of problems, drama, we, we, as a human, we want to leave it behind. But what if the drama and all the, all the hurt and the pain was meant for you because you are a diamond? And if you want to know what's, what's a diamond, how, how does it grow? It starts with a little insignificant part deep in the earth and by extreme pressure and heat, it starts to transform in something what we call a rough diamond, a piece of stone. I think when I find a rough diamond, I don't, I don't think it, I could um, see the value of it, it's just a little insignificant piece of stone. But when we, a rough diamond, and we cut by life, we start to sparkle. And that's why people tell you, hey, there's something about you. I don't know what it is, but it's, what is about you? But, and that's what, when it makes it insignificant, that we, ah, it happened to me and I'm so hurt, I don't want to talk about it, and we push all emotions away. And why do we do that? Maybe for, we are learned to, to deal with our emotions, like our mommy said, to, you have to be a good girl. Don't cry, if you, also when you're a boy. Don't cry, boys, boys don't cry. I wanna, don't wanna see no tears. But also, if you're a girl, smile when your auntie wanna kiss you, and you're like, ew, I don't want to. So we, we teach our children to, yeah, the, the boundaries we have to ignore them. And so what we do with our emotion, we put them away. But what if there happens something, something bad? A bad boyfriend, a bad, an accident, and someone special, something dear you, you lost, uh, an illness of, of um, your parent, or maybe your husband or wife, your children, or yourself. And that's what, uh, what we do about emotion. We, don't, we, we do not know how to regulate it. I, uh, we passed, I was, well, we, we were visiting the, the islands, and uh, Giselle, 
she, when we cross over the bridge, uh, she said, this is our port. I think it's huge. We, in Holland, we have a uh, huge port, but for Curaçao, it's, it's huge. And that's why I, I, in my book, I, I make a metaphor. So I um, compare. Somebody needs some coffee. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I, I need, I make the, trans, trans, the, the metaphor, what, what if you are a boat and you are in the safe, safety of the, of the port? And that's made the most of the people who want to stay in the, in the port because it's safe. There, when there's a storm, you're safe. And, and a few people who want to expand, and that's what I call it, a comfort zone, when they want to expand, and they leave the port, the waves start, and the most of the people, they think, oh my God, the wave is too high, I, I, and they go back. That is when we, this, the, the, the problem when leaving a, prob, a comfort zone, when the problem when you want to, if you want to change something, you want to, from, I, I want to, I do something else. I want to make a career switch. I want to, make a bit a new business i want to and that's why it's so important what you're dealing with if you're leaving your safe harbor and go to the sea but what's the problem that 95 of the people want to leave they want to find their i call it treasure hunting go finding their island where the, the treasure is, but they don't know where it is. Uh, I would like to have a business and it, and it will be like some kind of this. And my clients, yeah, I think they will buy maybe this or this. So we have vague images of what we would like to have or to be. And that's when you want to leave your safe place, you have to have a clear vision where you want to go. And that's a, the, the nice thing. If you want to go and to find your, I call it the vision of the diamonds. If you want to find something that's really important to you to do, to have, to be in life, you have to be a clear vision of, of life. What you, what you want to have. Just because, um, I think Giselle, for, ins for her inspiration, she, she wrote the, how do you say forward? Forward. <laughs> forward. <laughs> She's silent. <laughs> shh, shh. And, and that's make us friends, but also, sisters in our mission because we the mission we have is how to increase mental health because when we want to 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 find our treasure our to find our something our purpose or whatever you want to call it it's so hard to find and we get by the storms and the big waves and the, the, the challenges in, challenges in, in life, it's, it's, it's hard. And we call it depression. We call it burnout. We call it, how do you call it, traumatized. But, and that is when we want to, eh, we, we go back to our harbor and we stay there for, and that's my, why I wrote this. It's about my story. Because I had a vision, I thought. But my vision was vague. So I got lost in the storm. And I really drowned in success. But if you're not really certain about what you want in life, then you get lost in sea. And that's what I 
want to thank you about um, Giselle is, is a, a doctor and a lifestyle uh, and lifestyle doctor of how do you say lifestyle yeah and what we have in common is to help people to be prepared in for her in lifestyle um, but also in how you can invest in your mental health about how you think how you feel because the thinking is a, is the language of the head the emotions are the language of the body and when they're not resonating i want to do this but the heart tells something else you have a conflict and that's why it's so important to to have the knowledge and that's what the thing i needed to know What's about the stress? What is what is the, the, the hurt, what is causing me to feel like this? And we we take stress like it's like a virus. Oh, he entered the room. He's mad, and I'm mad too, because of him, and it giving me stress. Oh, uh, something held. Oh, I have to, in the Netherlands, we have the blue envelope. I don't know, it's called the Belastingdienst. Yeah. Finance, and they're also blue? No, we have the blue. The, the Belastingdienst, the duo? Yeah, the, the... Uh, <laughs> I don't have blue. Great fashion and pacobra. And when they arrive, there's some people go, oh. Maybe, Lina, you've not seen it because we have a mask. I had a mask too, by the way. The mask, did you want to know who it's like? How are you doing? Fine. <laughs> How are you doing? Because you, you have to take it easy. You're working so long. No, I'm fine. But there was a mask. Mm -hmm. But what, and that's what happened to me. I was so tired, I couldn't held my mask anymore and when it drops it was <laughs> I was I was gone and my story where it all turned out it all my it, it hit me when there was a situation it's six, six what is it for uh, four p.m. I wanted to go to bed, and my three children were still little, and they had to put their mommy to bed because she was holding in the bath, on the, on the, in, the, in the bathroom, couldn't able to hold her balance, were, had no energy to put her clothes out, so their children had to help yeah, mommy. And that's what it hits me. This is the world, how do you say, upside down. Upside down. Because I was the super mommy. I was ready, I was always prepared to help my children, the business, the family. I wanted to be the perfect daughter, the perfect wife. Uh, all the people who wanted to expect me to be. Yeah, there's some. Very <laughs> See some faces. Oh. And that is had what happened to me. I was always. I oh, have to. You have to be careful because you get burned out. Burn out. <laughs> no. Hey, everybody can be weak. The words. Everybody can be weak. I'm not weak. And that's maybe the, the biggest taboo that we see when you, when, we, when you are too long, too strong. That's not weak. You are just too long, too strong. And you need a rest. And that's what I need to find when I, it was, when my children had to put me to bed, it was the most darkest period in my life and that's why
where they di find diamonds. Because at that moment I made a promise. I don't know, I don't know how to, to deal with it. I don't know how to manage it, but I have to take care of me because nobody else will do this, only me. But how can you be, when you're so low, be on your feet again and to have a smile? In Holland they call it, why do you have the picture on, your, on the front, on the cover, with the, with the face? You look like, they say, a, a blij eye. In, in, in English, it is, you're looking like a, 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 a happy egg. <laughs> why, why is the face? Because it's so, it's a heavy book. No, I wanted to write a book where you, if you, if you read it, maybe you look like this, I don't know. <laughs> but I wanted to, to have the experience myself, but also my clients, when you're, feeling the overwhelming, when you're feeling what you, you have to listen what your body tells you. Just like when riding the car. If you have a car, we have a car, we're driving the car, and the lights go on, what do we do? Maybe you stop. But oh, maybe there's something wrong with the car. What do what people do? Oh, the lights go on. Oh, I have some... I, I just feel some, some pressure on my chest. Oh, it, I feel the muscles in my, my shoulders. Oh, it's in my back. No, I cannot come, come to work because I, I cannot walk because it's in my, it's my back. It's, and then we have something, I don't know, we break our leg. We, we, there's some, all the signals, all the lights in our dashboard from our car. Oh. Wake up, you need some mechanic, you need, you need to, sh to stop. And that is what, what the most of us, we don't feel what's in our body. And, but how do you deal with it? And that's, that's the challenge. And that I had to challenge, but it came, it came out, it had to be maybe the, mo the, the greatest adventure in my life. And now you're part of it. <laughs> But it can be difficult if you have, you, you create your vision. This is why the book is it, to help you to polish the diamond who's, which is inside. Okay, how can I create from stress to success? How can I do that? And that's why the book is for, to help you transform and you can shine you can smile without having a mask, but also to have the boundaries from how I can help you, but my energy is now low. I watch my, my dashboard, my fuel, it's, it's getting in the red. I need for now to stop. Yeah, but I need, no. And that's the, that's the, the, the difficult part to say no. I have to take care of me. And that's not selfish, but is, yeah, it is necessary. And that's the things I had to learn, my clients learn, and also you can read in the book how you can learn it. How can you integrate new knowledge, because I had to learn, how you, can you integrate it in your life so you can be the diamond to inspire others. Are there some questions? <laughs> I, want, I, I was curious to know um, where is the part of trauma that you mentioned in your introduction to this uh, session? Uh, how, how you tangle trauma with the stress, post-trauma, childhood okay. trauma? Um, that's when we want to solve burnout, for example. We, we think of the part, the stress. If we el 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 eliminate stress, 
So there's also the doctor and and the 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 people who want to help you. Go 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 relax. Go do some fun things. And all you want to do is yeah, but I want to work. I love my work. How how do I quit my job if I if I love working, but 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 also if you um, for example, an entrepreneur, not working is no money. So how can you relax? That's, and that is, it's not, and that's what I also had to learn. If you relax, there's still your head spinning around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think about funny things. I don't want to think, I want to sleep. Because it's readily, it's, it's, it's 24, 24 seven. And that is what I had to learn that your thought, your brain, you can be smarter than your brain. Your brain is like a computer. Did, did you know the first computer? I don't know, I, I was, I think 12, I think. It was on, on school. And they put an 11th hill, and they, they put a, a, a big computer. They were huge. The monitor, they were, were like this, like a fridge. And it was so, and it was on MS-DOS. And it was so difficult, because eh, I was a child, so I wanted to play. Pac-Man was the first. <laughs> I love the game, but it's when to have, to have the start the game, you have to MS, MS DOS, you have to, I don't know, the double, uh, double point, point, uh, dot, dot, uh, slash, uh, I don't know what. So, and that's what I want to, 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 to say. Our brain is like the old computer and MS DOS. You have to know, you have to learn what signs to, to put in to start a game. Now the trauma part, I had to learn that when stress is, a, is some kind of signal. We, we call it a burden, it's a signal. Because when for hand, the car, when it's the, the, the red, it's hey, pay attention, we have a problem in the car. And that's why if you go and you have the connection with your body, and that's what the, the method I work with, to tell that the body who stores emotions makes the, what, what the part you have to heal. The emotional wound. Trauma is a, is a heavy word for some people. So I like to call it an emotional wound. And that's the, the, the thing is, if, you, if we are wounded yeah, in, in our arm, what we do is we, we put, put on a, a plaster, how you call plaster in the bandage. But if you do it again and again, and the, and the wound is dirty, with sand and I don't know what is, what is in bacteria, you couldn't bandage it, it all day. You can get it put with a gold, I don't know what, but if it's, it's it, it, at the end, it will it will be infected. Mm -hmm. And what we do, yes, and what we do, think positive. Yeah, yeah. I hate that. So your your wound is the bright side. Yeah, it's yeah. The and you think, no, it's hurting and it's giving me stress because it's aching, it's, it's... And that is why I found the, the, the funny part, that it's okay if we're hurting and it gives us tears, that is, it's also okay to cry, for example. And if you get triggered because uh, we have some coping mechanisms like perfectionist, uh, the pleaser. There are all some things we, we experience in childhood and we cope with it. If I, if I be the, the, the pleaser, I can be the good girl. They won't be mad at me. 
And this is what we learn at child in our childhood. And when we're grown up, we still play the good girl. I don't want to say the word, but maybe it's time to be, can you put off your mask to feel what you have to feel and also be who you are born supposed to be without changing to be the perfect mom. But also mamas, mamas can cry and have a, have a time out. I had some mothers, mothers who put the door of the, of the of the of the restroom. They locked the, the door to have their the moment of, of, of peace. I don't know how, how you. I don't know if you have kids, but when I locked the door, when the, the children, yeah, they, knocking, on, mama. Yeah. For now, my, my, my children are young as they're all, almost all, uh, all adults. And I still leave my, this is also a habit, eh? this is what we do. We, the door open and say, mom, there are also other people in the house. I don't know, but you taught me to do this. Yes, so what it's, yeah. the, there, I have no boundaries about that. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that and is, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's the part. If if we we learn and we adopt, we 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 adjust our habits, and that is the 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 the, the, the our mechanism, our brain, when we learn and learn and we we change our habits, but it can be. On the, on, the, on the negative, but also in a positive way. When we, and what's negative or positive? It's only you to decide when it's feeling right. So, the trauma part is a, um, the emotional wound. What happened to you, it's okay. And that's the pressure and, and the heat you, that's your story. And in, 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 instead of ignoring it, it's also maybe time, and it's also hard, I know. And for some cases, it's really impossible to do it by yourself. But, um, and that's. There's something you can do, and that's what, what I what I you have tools in the book, and also yeah, it's it's too difficult. Yeah, you, you have me <laughs> make an appointment. <laughs> I will back in the island. <laughs> no, but um, it's it's um, it's important to to remember the things you've uh, experienced in your life. It's, it's in, in the pain, there's a power yeah. and, and some kind of treasure for you. When you talk about the mask, it's oh, because it's an echo from someone else that you're recording, so I, I tell you later. Okay. Um, are there some questions? And that's what, um, for the book, I wanted to be simple uh, with metaphors. Uh, I wanted to, to really people to, to recognize what they experience, but also how can you deal with it. And it's tough. And when you're facing storms and waves like that, it, it can be storm, it can be lonely too. But that's the place where diamonds transform in dark and loneliness. So, and if you can be, heal that part, 
magic begins.